All right, thank you for tuning in to Adventure Widely. Uh, I have another video gear review for you. This is a short one today. Uh, this is for the Mountain Goat sleeping bag from Mountain Hardware. This is actually last year's model. They have one now called the Bozeman, but it's nearly identical to this bag here. Uh, this is a kid's sleeping bag. It's rated for 20 degrees, synthetic fill. Uh, this has served my daughter very well until about the age of 10. At four foot 10 is how long she is now, how sorry, how tall she is, but in the bag is how long she is. Uh, she is just about uh, toe to head inside of this thing. So uh, it wouldn't last her much longer, I don't think. And it's to the point where she would prefer a little bit more wiggle room. So I would say under four foot 10, great sleeping bag. But let me go over a couple features of this thing first uh, and what I really liked about it and why I chose it for when she first started backpacking with me at the age of six. Uh, one, Mountain Hardware has a really nice uh, st stuff sack that they have for these, which you can get your fingers in here. And it really helps when you want to pull the bag out of here. So pull the bag out, throw it on the table here. So as you can see, hold it up. It is a standard mummy bag, has a hood, drawstring cord here to, to close around here. There is no uh, neck gasket in this. Has a Velcro here to uh, prevent the zipper from coming up open in the middle of the night from moving around too much. Has a little storage pocket right here. Um, as an adult, I might throw my keys in here or some of the bigger pockets I might throw a cell phone in here. Um, this could very easily be for like kids' contacts. So I do know kids are wearing contacts earlier and earlier these days. And then the really nice feature about this bag is the fact that down here at the bottom, it has a drawstring that you get to in the foot box. And this string allows you to pull the bag tight. And as you can see here, it scrunches the bottom. Uh, what makes a sleeping bag thermally efficient is the ability to trap air and the ability to um, fit you very uh, fairly snugly so that you don't have to heat up a bunch of empty airspace. Having a really large sleeping bag and you only occupy a very small portion of it is less thermally efficient because your body has to heat up all that extra air in there. And also every time you move around, that air can whisk right out of the hood and then draw cold air back in. I have slept in very cold weather before in a summer bag with no net gasket, and I can tell you firsthand every time you wiggle, you can feel that hot air go right out, and that cold air come right back in, it makes for a miserable night's sleep. So having a drawstring here where we can shorten this bag makes it so your child does not have to heat up empty airspace, and it makes the bag more thermally efficient for them until they grow into the bag. So that's this bag in a nutshell. It is a synthetic fill. I think it's a really good quality bag and it lasted my daughter for four years until she has just about outgrown it now. Uh, and now it's a great bag for shorter friends that go along on our trips. As you can see, uh, my daughter is about four foot 10. She is in the bag all the way. And we have feet right here on the end of this. <laughs> oh, ticklish feet too. <laughs> yeah, ticklish feet. And then she is in here all the way up to the head. So this bag is good for about a four foot 10 or smaller individual. Thank you, Kylie.